Hi everyone, welcome to the video lecture series of Theory of Automata and Formal Languages. We are into unit number two where we are learning about regular expression. In my previous video, we have started off with uh, the, uh, the process of how to convert or how to find or how to uh, draw a particular finite automata from a given regular expression. So for that, we have seen certain symbols. Uh, and those symbols are required to like these particular points we have discussed where uh, these these are the primitive expressions you should know how to convert a particular uh, expression to an automata okay so based on this we'll be learning of we'll be doing certain examples and uh, hope you will be it will be clear to everyone okay so let us start off with the first example the first example says that b a to the power star b correct so that means uh, initially what we have to do, initially we have to take the possible strings uh, that is uh, in this particular expression. So if we look into this possible strings, if asterisk equals to 0, then initial string will be bb, correct? If asterisk equals to 1, then it will be bab. If asterisk equals to 2, then it will be baab, then baab and so on. So these are the possible strings. So some way the other we have understood that initially it will be starting with B and ending will be B. So for the initial string, let me draw the uh, draw the diagram. Okay. So just like as you did in unit number one, where we got a lang language and from the regular language you have constructed the finite automata. The same way we are going to work on this. Okay. But in the form of a regular expression. So initially we'll be doing for. This bb. So as it is as as we already know that b b means b dot b. That means we'll be having two transitions for this. This is the way you can remember, and then this will be your final state. Clear? So that means initial string is perfectly accepted by this finite automata. So basically, we are going to construct a NFA, not a DFA, right now. And some of the other some of the expressions, it will be directly converted to DFA. But maximum time you'll be getting NFA only. Okay, now next B A B. See now you can look into the pattern A A then twice then A thrice then A four times and it will go infinite. So better to take a self loop over here, as we already know the concept of A to the power star, correct? Then we can put it as A. So this is the perfect diagram for uh, the finite automata that we have got from the expression B A to the power star B. See now look into the diagram B a to the power star then b clear if somebody asks you that uh, from the regular expression you have to draw the dfa as it is not a dfa you can convert this nfa to a dfa clear that you can do it now moving to the next expression next expression says that a plus b then c correct that means uh, we'll be having a transition for a plus b this means either it will be having a c or it will be having BC. These are the two possible combinations that we can have. Correct? A plus B means one transition will be for uh, A in the same direction from the initial state to a next state and another transition for B in the same direction from the initial state to the next state. That means followed by dot C. That means another transition. So definitely one will be one possible string is AC, other possible string is BC. So how to do this? Uh, for A plus B, we already know. So directly we can draw it a plus b we can write like this a b correct and then for c this is a plus b and for c i can directly write this and this will be okay. so this is the perfect exam perfect diagram for nfa uh, for the finite automata that i have got from this expression a plus b into c so if i look into a c a c if I look into B C, B C. So these two you can write is single state or single transition also comma B. You can also draw like that. Okay. So moving to the last, uh, th th the third example. Third example says that it's very clear. A B C whole to the power star. Okay. Now uh, new possible combinations we'll be trying to find out. The possible strings will be find out. So possible strings will be what? If asterisk equals to zero. Then initial string will be what? A. If asterisk equals to 1, then the next string will be A, B, C. If asterisk equals to 2, then it will be A, B, C, B, C. Correct? If asterisk equals to 3, 
then a b c b c b c and like this it will go to infinity correct now first i will try to find out for a clear so i will take an initial state and i will take one more transition for a and this one i will make as a final state so let it be capital a and let it be capital b here now if i talk about next is a b c so for b c b c means what b dot c so what i can do is that i can take a transition for b and i can move to another state say c b c see it is coming back to the final state it should accept to the final state so i can take one more transition back to b and that will be c now you can look into the strings a yes perfectly it's working it's a final state a b c a b c a b c b c a b c b c then three times b c b c b c b c and initially a so this is the perfect diagram for the finite automata that you have got from this expression given expression now we'll be looking to few more examples okay so question number four let us check it out question number four this is given as a plus b whole to the power s3 then followed by a bracket where we are having a b b then uh, this is what this is nothing but a or operation this is nothing but a or okay so in place of this you can also write like this plus okay so uh, union only okay a to the power positive uh, i already told you about the special operator a to the power plus then b okay so this expression we can also write like this a plus b whole to the power s3 then a b b plus a to the power plus b a correct so i can write also write like this so first i will try to follow up with this part okay so a plus b how to draw a plus b whole to the power star i will take an initial state correct i will take an initial state and uh, what i will do for a plus b that means it will be like uh, same transition going from one state to another state but if asterisk value is equals to zero then this will be your final state correct so what i can do i can take a self loop and i can put a comma b clear see a and b are uh, uh, you are using a union b that means either a or b so that means coming into the same transition but going from one state to another so it may be a self loop as we are having a loop so a to the power a to the power s trick also you can fill like that so this is the for, uh, diagram for a plus b whole to the power s trick now we will be moving into this particular part a b b plus a plus a to the power positive b a okay how to do that so first uh, see whenever you are having positive you just keep in mind that we'll be having two different transitions for this one and this one but moving to the same direction only okay so what i will do i will first try to find out for a b b so i will draw like this a b b clear so it's clear so let it be naming name i will name the steps as a b c and d perfectly fine okay now this is done now i will be taking about a to the power positive okay see a to the power positive now always keep in mind that a to the power positive means what it will start from a then a a then a a a and so on clear so this is the basic definition of a to the power positive correct so initial string will be what a so that means i will be drawing one more a you can also start off with this a and then i will be naming as suppose state e then i can have n number of a's right so i can take a self loop over here and i can take this as a clear after that what it is there b a is there so i'll be having one more transition b okay e f okay one more transition a and i can make it as another cell final state okay so either you can directly put into this okay you can do it like this as well okay you can directly transfer this a to here or you can use another final state because there is no restriction for final state that is a very good thing right so you can use n number of final states so i have made a separate path for both the scenarios i have done a plus b whole to the power star uh, as a this one okay then for this i have done for a b b i have taken this path for a to the power positive b a i have taken this path either you can directly from f you can directly connect to the final state d uh, the transition will be a okay or you can do like this okay so this is the perfect example uh, where we have learned about how to use uh, like a, 
a, a bigger regular expression okay now moving into the next one uh, the fifth one okay so fifth one we'll be looking into this particular topic as a uh, methodology known as uh, you can say subset uh, subset construction method you can say okay so you can note it down by using subset construction method okay so how to do this okay first i will let you know the step wise then in exam you can also draw like this so initially what i can do is that looking into the expression i can feel like that plus is there correct so i can take this as one expression and this was an other expression so initially step number one what i can do i can use like this okay i'm i'm getting a little bit artistic okay i'm using a different color pen okay so i'm using a and i'm taking one more status suppose uh, so uh, for the first time i will not be naming the other states as well because we'll be having a lot of states in the upcoming session okay so i'll be doing for one transition it will be one zero this one and the other transition will be uh, zero plus one one zero to the power positive then one zero to the power asterisk then one so these two i have segregated into two different parts so this is how the subset construction method goes on okay now we are done with this so i don't need the help of this one so i can move on with this okay so step two what will be step two step number two will be like this we will try to divide those concatenation part okay see one zero is there right okay so what i can do is that i can take one more state over here and let it be b and okay I've already named it, so I'm not going to name now from onwards, okay? So this will be one zero means what? This is one transition for one, okay? And this is another transition for zero, clear? And in the same state, you can also segregate this, okay? Or it depends on you how to do it, okay? Uh, sometimes they used to, uh, sometimes there is no foundation that you have to do this step, this particular transition in this particular step only. You can use one more step if the uh, question mark is more okay so uh, generally in university papers what we do we try to take we try to uh, if it is having over 10 marks of question we will try to use more number of papers to show or to get to grasp those marks right so you can also do that so in this particular step you can use the transition as it is and in the next transition you can uh, next step you can uh, solve this transition okay but i'm trying to solve it in a single step only so Next, what I can do is that for 0 plus 1, 1, okay, so 0 plus 1, 1, what I can do is that I can take one more state, say suppose this one, and 0 plus 1, 1, so I'll be doing for here 0, and for here I'll be doing 1, 1, it's perfectly fine, 0, 1 transition, 1, 1, under transition, then again 0 to the power star, correct, so this one I can write like this, 0 to the power star, and then this one, and then finally we are getting into one clear so this is almost done so i can move with now step number three i don't need the step number one diagram so in step number three what we are going to do okay in step number three uh, this has already been solved okay no need to do it we have to try to solve this so for this one one i have to uh, take one more state so the diagram will be like this a one b zero this will be your final state then this will be your state okay this will be zero i'll be using one more transition for one more state this will be one this will be one so this is has been solved clear then i am left out with zero to the power star so what I can do, 0 to the power star, uh, this is actually acting like a self-loop, correct? This is actually a self-loop. So besides taking a transition 0, again, I can put a self-loop for 0, no, no need for that. I can directly put a self-loop over here and I can mark this as 0, clear? And for this one, I can directly transfer this to, okay? So this is the final diagram that I have done. I think so entirely the concept is clear to you all where we have understood how to 
divide those expressions into smaller smaller parts and then finally we'll be getting single single transition for all those it may be a single transition it may be a self loop in a single transition format okay that depends on what the scenario so i haven't named the states that depends on you a b so i will mark c d and e total five states are there and it is an nfa so uh, if somebody asks you for dfa then you can convert this nfa into dfa i think uh, it's almost clear to everyone how to convert or how to create a finite automata from a given regular expression either directly if we are having small expressions then we can directly use it or uh, this stepwise you can use it where we have to show the subset construction method uh, step by step so as i have told you as i've given the uh, funda that uh, if you're attempting for any university examinations then you can divide those steps into more number of steps in order to uh, graphs good marks okay so i think um, uh, in the next lecture we'll be looking into a few more topics like uh, conversion of a uh, this now here you have seen how to convert a regular expression to a finite automata in the next lecture we will look into convert a finite automata to a regular expression vice versa by two different methodologies i will let you know those two methodologies in that very class okay so thank you for watching the video if you're having any suggestion or comments please comment down below and do subscribe so that you can get the updated videos as well. Okay. Thank you for watching.